Okay, good morning, everybody, and welcome day, day two to the Trading Psychology event. Uh, this event is brought to you by Timing Research and Trade Out Loud, and the event is being recorded. Will be All the recordings will be available as soon as they are processed on the Timing Research website. Uh, and David Cosmeter and I would like to welcome everybody, and we will be your host today. Uh, and before we begin, let's uh, take a quick look at some of our legalities. So uh, all information provided today is for education purpose only, should not be construed as investment advice regarding purchase or sale of securities, options, futures, forex, or any instrument of any kind. Trading involves a high level of risk and may not be suitable for all investors because you could lose money. So before deciding to trade, you should carefully consider your objectives, your level of experience and risk appetite. Individual performance depends upon each person's uh, skills, time commitment, and effort. Individual uh, performance depends uh, of course, uh, and, and their results may not be typical and individual results will vary. So you must do your own research and take your own trading decisions. So with us today, we have another fantastic lineup of traders. So we continue the super amazing trend of speakers uh, from yesterday. And uh, they're here to share with you some of the top psychological uh, elements that are so important to trading. And with us today, uh, we're going to kick it off with Richard Friesen. And Richard, so happy that you are here. Welcome from My Muscle Academy. Uh, everybody give a big welcome to Richard. Richard, you have the mic. Oh, thank you so much for uh, setting it up and understanding with your cautions about the risks involved. And what we're going to do today is look at those risks and how we can mitigate them the best we can. So first I want you to let you know that who I am and why I am so happy to be here. I work with independent and professional traders who want to increase their consistent profits. My neuroscience-based mind muscles model gives my clients the ability to reach their goals with online training, simulations, interactive exercises, group support, and real-time decision processes. What I'm about to tell you doesn't come from just theory, but three decades of trading experience. I founded the Trade Management LLC, a consistently profitable options arbitrage firm, hired and trained over a dozen traders. I have created and reviewed over 1,000 traders' psychological assessments. I have coached hundreds of traders in our live groups and dozens of satisfied private clients, both active independent traders and professional money managers. I've just released uh, my book, A Private Conversation with Money. It comes, it's about our limitations and my clients have created uh, by conflicts with money and wealth. I know you don't believe this is true, but what I'm about to tell you comes from this real world experience. And the question to ask yourself right now at this moment is, am I ready to expand my awareness of my own mindset to reach my trading goals? I'll give you a moment to consider this. If you are ready, then this presentation invites you to open new doors that can radically change your trading outcomes. First, let's start with the biggest trading issues you face. To determine what matters to you and your trading success, we're going to play a little game. I'm going to list the most common obstacles that block a trader's success. And I assume we have a chat box here. Is that right? And is somebody monitoring it? Yeah, the, the chat is enabled. Great. So type in the issues that bother you the most, that prevent you from your success. Type them into the chat window, and we'll see what comes up. Making impulse trades, mistrades, overtrading, repeating the same errors, stress, fear of loss. Jumping from system to system, not disciplined, letting big losses run, feeling struck, stuck, fear of failure, 
cutting your winners short, lack of confidence, ruled by emotion, afraid to lose money, afraid to pull the trigger, and self-sabotage. Which of these, maybe just one or two, that you feel, if it were to make a shift, would make the biggest difference to your PL. And uh, if you can let me know what's coming in, that would be great. All right, can, can everyone see the chat? Uh, type something in the, uh, the uh, chat box. Okay, uh, Danny says stress. Stress, yes. Uh, Gary <clears> says cutting, stress. cutting winner short. Yes. Stress is you when you make a trading decision from stress, it is stepping into a very different context. Cutting your winner short represents some hopes or dreams you have that drive that behavior. But now let's look at the other side of the Which of these desired outcomes do you want instead? You can also type these into the chat window as they come up. Enjoying the power of discipline, self-mastery, the challenge, cutting losses and letting profits run, trading with focus and flow, feeling joyful trading, increasing size with comfort, consistently profitable, becoming a professional, set free from financial worries, calm and relaxed, managed risk successfully, loving the challenge and joy of discipline, executing your strategy, financial freedom, self-confidence, real-time self-awareness, feeling great trading, and finally, last but not least, persistence and resilience. Which of these are desirable trading goals for you? And if there's anything in the chat box, you can mention it or we can just move on. Uh, yeah, there's several uh, trade uh, with focus and flow. Danny says become a professional. Yeah. Gary, increase size with comfort, become a professional. Yeah. So if we look at coming a professional, what is fascinating to me is I work with professional hedge fund managers, money managers, Wall Street people who have been in the business a while. And what's amazing is their issues are the same issues as the independent trader because the human brain is the same in both. Okay, so the question now is, how do we get from here to here? Our time today will reveal what I have discovered through my lifetime experience on the impact of metrics and measuring what matters. So to start this conversation, I want to tell you my own story about measuring what matters. Only the experience of being a futures broker and working for Merrill Lynch, I ended up with a member badge on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. I looked around and saw the energy, the millions of dollars whizzing back and forth with just hand signals and I knew I had found my new home. My job was to trade S&P futures to hedge options and risk for a privately held options trading firm. That's right, Rich Friesen. <laughs> my first time I walked onto a trading floor was not as a clerk, but learning to trade as a trader. My first trainer in the S&P options pit said these words, Rich, you are the worst trainee I have ever had. As I tell this story about myself, I can still hear his voice, almost as clear as I can hear mine now. Here I was in the heart of billions of dollars of money flowing back and forth. I was so close, so close. And to hear these words just crushed my hopes and dreams. This feeling may be familiar to some of you also. But the good news is I managed to survive that withering criticism and I opened a trading desk 
or CRT on the options floor of the Pacific Exchange. Here I was all alone with no local support staff and I was lost. There were so many things to learn. I didn't know what mattered. It seemed at first that everything mattered and I could never learn it all. However, I understood that as long as I was trying to solve really big complex problems with many variables operating in an ever changing environment, I would continue to be frustrated and lose confidence. This loss of confidence could shatter my dream of trading success. But I thought, what if? What if I could break down the problems into workable sized chunks? I knew I could handle each issue and make measurable progress. So I had to figure out how I could what I did. Now note the trading cards in my jacket pocket. These cards were given to us by the exchange to help us write down our trades to keep track of our positions. However, I did something very different. I kept metrics on everything I did, every trade I made, every mistake I made, everything I learned to do or not do from observing other traders on the floor. I measured it all. And I ended up with a massive stack of cards with tiny print on both sides. This stack evolved into an options trading manual that was the Bible for new traders in my own growing options and equity trading firm. I learned the hard way about executing my strategy and I noted everything. The rest of my notes were about my own mindset, my personal psychology of trading. Mind muscles takes the mystery out of psychology. We break down trading behavior into measurable processes. Well, everyone today agrees that successful trading is at least 50% or as Bert Steinbarger says, 100% psychology. However, to say the word psychology to many traders, it feels like some dark, mysterious function. It's treated like a monster in the closet that occasionally rears its ugly head. So most of us deal with this by just ignoring it and hope it goes away. For those of you who experience persistent trading mistakes, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to take a moment to see if there's any comments or questions. This may be a little early for comments and questions so far, but uh, feel free to interrupt me at any time. If any questions come in, I've left time to be able to have a conversation. And I think conversations are the most important part of these, these presentations. Wait. So please feel free feel, feel, to monitor me with any questions that come into the chat box. I'll, I'm open to take some now, it may be a bit early, but we can accumulate them and stop occasionally also to check in to see if there's any questions or comments. Do we have anything coming in so far? Uh, what, uh, Danny asked, what, what, parameter, what parameters did you note on the cards? Oh, that's the perfect question. So let's go for it. Let's look at the parameters that I've noted on the car cards. What you will notice about the market metrics application is that we are measuring process. We observe how our process impacts the outcome of our trading. And then we go back to process, adjust the process, and then observe the outcome. If we start with just the outcome, such as daily profit goal, then we have no way of knowing what needs to be adjusted in order to approve our outcome. So to answer the question, are you measuring what matters? With years of experience, we've created a list of the critical metrics that matter for the independent trader. And today we're going to introduce our market metrics application that measures what matters. I'm going to move quick to a number of concepts, but please do not feel overwhelmed. When we introduce these metrics to our members, our clients, our students, we do so with small steps at a time. So please take it in and know that there are easy steps to a master trader's mindset.
the first section is our met of our metrics is positive trading behaviors. How would you feel to how would it feel to step out of a gray fog of your trading mindset and market complexity into a vivid picture of what exactly where your trading mindset and strategy need additional attention. In order to create the positive trading behaviors that we all want, first, we look at the specific trading behaviors that no longer serve you that we listed earlier. A number of you entered into the chat box earlier, which of these really mattered and what need attention? So the first thing we do is make a list of your specific trading behaviors that are costly to your consistent profits. Then we uncover what the positive intent of each of these trading behaviors is. Because in the moment when we're making that trade, our intent is positive in that moment. Even if it doesn't serve our consistent trading profits in the long term, in that moment, every bad trade has a positive intent. By doing this, we're tapping in to our subconscious power. Once we understand the positive intent for each bad behavior, we then list the new behaviors that actually fulfill that positive intent. Now, here's why this is so important. If we try to discipline ourselves without connecting to our positive intent, we end up with willpower and failure. But once we align our positive intent, then we're building rapport with all parts of ourselves. We aren't fighting our brain with willpower or discipline. We're using it for our survive, own survival force and for our own good. Once we have completed the behavioral section of market metrics, then we can start filling it in. Every day we can click the drop down and select from the menu how our actual trading behaviors align with our master trader's mindset. We can quickly see specifics that can be improved. What makes the biggest impact on our PL? As a coach, I can look at any one of my member market metric sheets and I can tell in five seconds what the issues are and create steps to resolve them. In our coaching and mastermind groups, we reenact a trait that triggers the old response, stop at the critical decision junction, replay it from the point of the positive intent that was clarified earlier. This creates, now this is true, even in simulation, our brains create new neural connections that are capable of replication. Trading an isolated experience and in our isolation, repeated bad patterns of behavior, even if they don't serve us, are easily triggered in our own isolation. This can lead to a downward spiral. This downward spiral triggers brain chemistry that deepen the spiral. We are social beings. We thrive with belonging. It's built into our DNA. So. How can we use this powerful force to create new behaviors that serve us better? We create a series of incremental commitments to a supportive group that are eager to cheer our progress. The expectation can be so powerful that in that moment, we are about, when we're about to repeat a destructive trading pattern, taking profits too early, in that moment, we realize that this is going to be reported to our group. This gets us out of our self-referential bubble and triggers that create trading patterns that no longer serve us. If on the other hand, we're part of a positive and supportive group, in that moment of decision, knowing that there are supportive people just waiting to celebrate our victory, we can avoid triggering old behaviors that no longer serve us. This section allows the trader to make commitments to the group that are shared during the meetings. For those of you who haven't experienced this, this might feel like the slow walk to the guillotine. However, once you 
experience the support and other traders feel supported by you every bit of progress and it's just turned you, your trading behaviors are turned on its head next <clears throat> excuse me next we measure our routines what trading routines are important now imagine what it would be like to be a carpenter and the length or inches and millimeters of your tape measure changed during your working day. You had measured the length of a board that was needed, transfer that to measurement to the board to cut it. But in the meantime, the tape itself grew a little bit longer. What would it be like to build a house under those circumstances? As mentioned, the market is a complex adaptive system. Our brains are driven emotionally. If we bring our brain to the marketplace in different states every day, we've in introduced a new set of complexities that is so difficult to overcome. Daily routines support a resourceful, relaxed, resilient, and peaceful state of mind. Without awareness, we are stuck in repeated behaviors that no longer serve us. At Mind Muscles, we open the door to consistent profits with three golden keys. The first golden key is awareness of our mindset. <laughs> I can hear you say right now, you can't measure the mind, it's not a computer program. Plus all the measurements are self-referential and so they're, they're so subjective that they can't be relied on. All these objections recognize the challenge of measuring our state of mind. But at Mind Muscles, we manage these challenges because the very act taking these measurements, hones our self-awareness and produces better trading results. Awareness, the first of the three golden keys, is one of our core fundamental behavioral adaptations. In our market metrics, we have found a powerful correlation between our mindset and our PL. With acceptance of what we discover with awareness, we can then create better trading decisions as we become agents of our own experience. Entering your set scores or sensations, emotions, and thoughts into our application is an easy way to uncover your mindset in three easy steps. The easiest way to become aware of our mindset is with our physical sensations. This is a great first step, even for people who are not used to self-awareness. For many of us, our physical sensations are out of our awareness most of the time. A simple exercise is to close your eyes. In fact, let's just do this right now. Close your eyes and focus your awareness on your stomach and abdomen. Just notice the sensations that are coming from there. Notice any tightness, any muscular tension, butterflies in the stomach, and so forth. Don't change anything, just notice. Do you see you have signals coming from your body at all times? but we're usually focused elsewhere and we simply don't notice them. The next phase is emotional awareness. With this practice, we can measure our emotional state in real time. As we increase our emotional intelligence, we can then correlate our emotional state to our trading results. So how are you feeling right now? I invite you right now in this moment to close your eyes just for a moment and notice what you feel. Are you bored with this presentation? <laughs> Are you impatient? Are you eager, depressed, sad, angry, 
Are you disappointed? Are you hopeful, curious, peaceful? Some of you will notice very little around emotional states. Others may have a full palette of emotions that are available in real time. The final fascinating metric is our thoughts. Many of us move through life under the impression that we are our thoughts. This belief makes it difficult to be aware of our thoughts as an observer. But again, with practice, it's possible to be an observer of our thoughts. Once observed, the quality of thoughts can be measured. Are your thoughts judgmental, scattered, fuzzy, repetitive, carefully controlled? This awareness is really powerful. So as we measure and monitor and track or set scores, our sensations, emotions, and thoughts, the, our behavior starts to shift powerfully. Trading mistakes and emotional reactions no longer control the mouse. How do we measure our sensations, emotions, and thoughts? Well, simple. We use the mind muscles unique algorithm called set scoring. The score ranges from minus five to zero to plus five. The minus and the plus fives represent the extremes of the energy states. When we apply this to our sensations, minus five is, is a state of low energy. It is associated with difficulty to initiate movements, slumping, or exhaustion. A plus five is a state of hyper energy. It is associated with jitters, erratic movement, and rapid breathing, and it's like being over caffeinated. For the emotional state, a minus five indicates depressions, feelings of foreboding. It's hard to get motivated. Life seems to have just a, a gray nothingness. There a plus five means you're excited and agitated, like after a sniff of cocaine, you feel cocky and you can do anything that you set your, your mind to. Nothing will stop a master of the universe like yourself. You know where the market is going and you will be its master. A minus five in our thoughts represents critical and negative voices that question everything you do and stories that trigger the dark emotions that feel very real in the moment. A plus five means your thoughts are overconfident, belligerent, and righteous. You're critical of others who don't support your fantasies. You have illusions of grandeur and of accomplishing your wildest dreams. Zero is the state of physical power and energy reserves. It represents a healthy body that is well-nourished and exercised. It's associated with slow, deep breathing, steady movements, stamina, slow heart rate, and low adrenaline reactions. A zero in your emotional state means you have a quiet confidence, peace, and a reservoir of resilience. You have no need to trade or not to trade. You're easily able to focus and be in the flow of the market. Emotions may come and go, but no longer re trigger a reactive response. Your profits and losses in your positions are not a referendum on your value as a human being, your abilities, or your dreams. A zero measurement of your thoughts mean you allow them to come and go. They no longer trigger positive or negative emotions. The quality of your thoughts are positive and self-assured. So let's put this all together with our set scores. Imagine how powerful it will be for you to have this information in real time while you were trading. Do you think that if you had a rule that stopped you from trading whenever you are outside your most productive range, it would stop you from making mistakes? Do you think that if you learn to use your set score to identify emotional triggers before they take over, that it could improve your profitability? 
Well, I can tell you as a fact, that is exactly what happens time after time in our coaches and pro, uh, our private coaching. Here's an example from a real trader from a previous group. Do you see the correlation between the state of mind and the PL? The top line is the combined set scores using our algorithm. The bottom is the net PL. And the one up from the bottom is the percentage of lucrative trades or trades within the trading plan and strategy. Do you see how the green set scores produce more profits than the yellow set scores? Do you see how the green set scores result in traders doing a better job of following the plan? Measuring our mindset matters. It matters a lot. And this is just the start. I've gone through a tremendous amount of content. I've probably exploded your brain with concepts and reframes. So I'm going to stop for a moment and see if we have questions or comments. And I have quite a bit of time left. So I'm really open to a conversation to learn what matters to you, what questions you have about what we do and how this helps the traders create consistent profits. So I'm gonna give you a moment to type in any questions or comments. I especially love criticisms and pushbacks. We often have some of the best conversations with both our prospects and our clients. So do you see anything coming in and questions or comments? Um, I'm not seeing anything new yet. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do then is we can keep moving forward. And the question I ask you is, are you measuring what matters? The next measurement of what matters is our execution. At Mind Muscles, one trades as lucrative. How? 100% of your trades can be lucrative. I know that many of you think that I must be crazy to make this claim. Every trade of our clients is a winner. So let me explain how that works and why it is so important. It's twice the pain for the same amount won or lost. Because of this double dose of pain, we struggle to avoid loss. The avoidance creates several behavioral issues that contribute to bad trading. But our brains can change because of neuroplasticity. We can intentionally rewire our brain for trading mastery. We can redefine winning and losing by creating lucrative trades. A lucrative trade consists of all of the following preparations. We have completed our daily preparations and routines that maximize our state of mind. We have also completed our market analysis review. Our mindset, we're in a master trader's mindset with our set scores in the acceptable range. We can trust that we're in rapport with ourselves and the market. Execution, we enter manage and exit the trade according to our trading plan. We apply the rules where they're called for and apply discretion when the market dictates. If any one of these factors is not part of a trade, it's a lousy trade. It doesn't matter if it made money or lost money, it is lousy. So if you take statistics of just your lucrative trades, you might come up with numbers like these. What this means is that every lucrative trade you make is worth $275, profitable or not. So even if a particular trade is unprofitable, you know that it is still worth $275. It is a winner. Every lucrative trade is 
a winner. This may be difficult for some of you to understand. So if there's questions or comments, we'll have enough time to answer them. But this is so important because our brain fails us. It was made to uh, operate on the risks of the savannas when we were a in a clan and to reduce our risk of death. But that risk is that or that brain behavior is brought to our trading. And this is the workaround that relieves us from fighting our primitive brain. So any questions or comments coming in? Um, Mike asks, said he was looking at your website. What would you start with? There is uh, quite a bit there. Yeah, there is a lot there. And that's why we take easy steps at a time. Because on your road to becoming a master trader and I have developing your master traders mindset. There's a lot of neurological pieces. There's market complexity. And to say, okay, let's fix that all immediately. We're overwhelmed. Like if you look at me the first time I went on the floor to trade, it was so overwhelming. I mean, I just went home shaking sometimes and creating the easy steps by making notes on the card was a real relief. And that's what we do. And I'll talk to you a bit about some options of what you can do. So we just talked about 100% of our trades being lucrative. So now let's look at that. So here's a, a real trader. And what we do is we take metrics of a trade, whether it's lucrative or it's lousy. Again, it doesn't matter if it made money or lost money. Is it lucrative? Did you follow the plan? Was your mindset there? And look at the difference here. $11,873 in their lucrative those were profitable and a loss of $12,371. Again, not all those trades were losing, but did they follow the lucrative rules? These are real examples. By tr uh by tracking our lucrative trades separately from our non-lucrative trades or lousy trades, we can develop a clear understanding of where our strategy may need improvement and where our execution needs improvement. This is so powerful because traders conflate all the issues that impact them. What if you knew, what if you executed all your trades were lucrative and they weren't profitable? Well, then we can look at your strategy we have other uh, resources to develop an understanding of different market moods where different strategies work. As a matter of fact, many traders often discover that if they knew how to trust themselves and trust their system, they could be consistently profitable overnight. Now, let's demonstrate how to use the actual application. How can we best support you? There's, uh, as mentioned in the chat box, there's so many things on the website. So here you can go to mindmuscles.com slash measure. Mindmuscles.com slash measure. And I, uh, personally, I, I'm in Hawaii now. I've had a family emergency. My brother had a car accident. We're working through all the medical issues. So I didn't have time to set up a uh, special. My uh, assistant, who I think got really carried away, <laughs> I says, oh, just do whatever you think is right. So she set it up. and. Uh, we have uh, private coaching 
which some of you may be interested. And she set it up so that uh, we have additional setups, lifetime checkups, something I haven't done before. Uh, many of you traders may want to join our Rocket Lodge program, uh, we, which gives you the mind metrics, which you just showed you. A uh, huge discount there. I'm not even sure of what all the discounts she gave you. I looked at them uh, last night quickly and I went, oh my God, I can't believe she did that. Or if hey, you want uh, stuff. Rich, yeah. sorry to interrupt you. Uh, that's not working for me. Mindmusclesfortraders.com slash measure, you said? Mindmusclescom slash measure oh. isn't, isn't working. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, yeah, it's working now. Got it. Oh, okay. Great. Okay. So there, we were taking a tremendous amount of money off of things for uh, adding the benefits, features. Um, there's a self guided program. So, no matter what your financial condition is, there is steps you can take to do this. Uh, for every, you know, if you want the self guided, uh, my uh, compass course, it's there. It's off. It's like $197. It's like one trade. So, no matter where you are from a uh, limited financial budget all the way to private coaching with additional benefits, uh, we're there to support you. Uh, my personal situation is I'm financially secure for the rest of my life. Uh, my commitment to the world is to make it a better place by allowing people and inviting them to better mental health and better practices. I just finished a book called a private conversation with money, which is a way to reframe our relationship with money. Trading is all about money. What is amazing is that many traders are uncomfortable with their profits because they come so easily once they complete our courses. And as a result of that, there's a lot of guilt. And so I wrote the book, A Private Conversation with Money. That's also available. I think there's 25 free copies available for the Kindle edition for the first people who uh, uh, there's a, probably a link there. Again, um, I because of my family's uh, challenges right now, I didn't have a chance to look at it. So again, I'll just, uh, it looks like there's some more slides you put on here. So those traders who are on a budget, $197 for our self-directed mind metrics application and compass course. There's the book for that you can get for 25 copies of it for a Kindle edition. I'll give you to, to those. Uh, it's on the website how you get those. So uh, if you have any other questions or comments, that's https colon forward slash forward slash mindmuscles.com slash measure. And it's all there. And again, I'm not familiar with all the things, good things she put up there, but uh, I think that they kind of blew me away when I reviewed them yesterday. Uh, so feel free to check those in. And right now I'm open for questions and comments. Uh, S.V. Preston says, the book is great, a valuable journey of self-discovery. Great. Okay, if there's no other questions or comments, I'm glad this is available for review for recordings. I really appreciate the time here and I appreciate the invitation and what a wonderful uh, group of people you have got from all sorts of different perspectives to help you find what to do. And I so appreciate the invitation and the people you've put together here. So thank you so much.